what is up guys, this is Fernan here with a little tutorial which is going to sort of be helpful to mostly some, well, most of you guys because, you know, I think it's sort of a, a tool that can help, I'm uh, just trying to, how do I put it into words? Well, I'll show you and then, you know, we'll try and think of a definition after. But, like, if you want stuff like uh, water, um, like, stuff like that, uh, land, if you come up to a window and then you go to the content browser, Every Cinema 40 has got this. Um, I've got Studio, um, R13 Studio, so I've got all these um, nice, like, render sort of, like, scenes. Um, but you need Studio for that, obviously. I've downloaded some smoke trails now, which I don't know how to bloody use, but I'm, I'm still working on that. But um, if you go to the Presets tab, you've got shitloads of stuff that you can use, like a male, a female, they're, like, just naked. Um, models for you little kids out there that just get horny over a little picture, you know. Um, no, I'm joking. If you go to Studio, which has most of it, you've got characters like a, a rigged skeleton here. So if we just, yep, drag that in, see what we got. I'm just going to run for a few. Um, obviously, you can see here now in R13, um, it's got this C motion type thing. Um, I, I don't really know how to use it, um, but if I'm right in thinking, there we go, you just grab that, and that's pretty fucking nice. That is quite easy to animate, that'd be sick. See, why can't all fucking models be rigged like that, or can they? I just don't know how to do it. So we need to select the box, I think it is. Yeah, you need to select the box, and obviously you're going to need to rotate your hands. Um, head. Is that a rotate? Yep. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty nice. I, I I've never actually seen that one, but <laughs> yeah. So I just delete all that. That's like these are like little characters you can do. Obviously, you can. That's a little scene. Pretty nice. Um, same here. It's a walk. Um, that's a walk as well. A rap. Um, a person just walking. A cartoon. What's this then? Ooh, Mr. Arnold. And, you know, you just got these are all like little sort of character animations that um, you can. But the render one is sort of like the most useful to me. Um, rooms. Now, this one will. It's a bit of a bugger, really, because if you want to render this out, you're going to have to render it out with global illumination. Because if you don't, like this one, it comes all this shitty. Luminum colors, but if you turn on global illumination, um, I'm just going to render that and then I'm just going to pause it because it does take some time. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm just going to pause it and then unpause it when it's done. Save time. What is that, guys? I'm back. That only took like a couple of seconds, but look, that's what it looks like with global illumination. Um, now, that did take a couple of seconds, like 30 seconds odd, but when you do like long frames, 60 frames per second, it can build up, so just bear that in mind. So you've got little scenes like that. But then say like the C, um, highlight, here it is, just drag that in. And obviously this is a floor, so it will reach up to the horizon. If you don't want that, um, you can add a plane. And then add Sorry, that's just an argument going downstairs. I don't, I'm just listening. Um, if you grab this C texture and put that on the plane, drag that in, delete the C. The reason I do this is because now I can add a displacer onto this. So if I just go to the whip and add two more noughts into it, maybe one more each one, just so I can make it as big as the horizon, like the C would usually be. Um, then I would go to this tab, and then I will go to displacer. I don't know where it is. Displacer. I think you drag that in the displacer. I'll drag the displacer in. Go to the fall off, go to noise. No, 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 don't do that. I can't remember where it is. The shader, noise. That's it. And then, um, I don't think that's what you want to do. You want to go to object. I'm just trying to think how I've done this. But you don't want to change any of that shading. I 
I think that's infinite. We'll keep that on infinite. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. But you know, I'll, I'll do a separate tutorial on that. That obviously didn't work out. But what you can do is you can make it more see like have it moving. Um, but this is where it just looks like steel, which looks pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, still got like the horizon level, so it looks all good. And that, and it's got nice sun because it's got like a sunlight. And I think there's a bit of sun here because look, it's a reflection of a sun. Oh, I don't know where the sun will be, but yeah, it's got nice sky to it as well. So um, that can be used pretty into pretty good use. Um, and there's other things, the volcanoes exploding. I mean, you can also delete the camera and make your own. Uh, that is a head, which looks pretty detailed, but I phew, that's going to need a lot of rendering power. Little island. Another ice mountain. Oh, yeah. Explosions as well. Pyro cluster. Oh, no, that's just a cloud. My bad. The pyro, this one. Um, that's like an explosion, which, you know, saves doing in After Effects. Oh, oh. Oh, sick. Oh, jeez, I'm going to use that. That's fucking sick. Sorry, I haven't, used to, I haven't seen these. Water. I use that. That's. I think that's actually... Oh, no, it's waterfall. I thought it was just a smoke, but I used it as a... Um, I had the water scene in, and I had a boat. And I thought, if we're going to have a boat moving on water, it's going to make some splash behind. So I added this behind, so it looks like water spraying behind it. It looked pretty realistic, so... You know, just use the materials that you're given here. Nothing wrong with it. I don't, you know, some people say it's cheating. I don't give a shit. It makes the video good. So, yeah, these, just a content browser in general, it can make things a lot easier for you, like scenes, etc. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to get that out. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and everything else in the content browser. Um, you can actually add things. If you wanted, like, Grayscale Gorilla or any plugins like that, smoke trails they will be found in the the content browser if you didn't know that so if you're wondering if you're installed and you don't know where to go it is the content browser so yeah please like and comment on the video um and look out for the next videos out peace